Hello and welcome to a new topic. What is computational linguistics (CL)? In this lesson, we will talk about meaning of computational linguistics, explanation, goals, and branches of computational linguistics. Let's move and talk each one of them in detail. The first one is introduction. Have you ever wondered how Alexa, Google? and Siri can listen and respond to you or how a customer service chatbot knows how to respond to your requests that's computational linguistics at work computational linguistics cl is what powers anything in a machine or device that has to do with language speaking writing reading and listening here what i mean to say is that computational linguistics is all about human interaction with the machine we continue our discussion that is to say synonym terms associated with computational linguistics cl we have nlp we also call it natural language processing we have le language engineering we have li language industry we have hlt human language technologies we have lt language technologies all of them are in some way or another very much similar to what we call computational linguistics they are not exactly the same or they cannot replace computational linguistics but the area of computational linguistics includes more or less all of these terms okay now we continue our discussion that is to say what do we mean by computational linguistics cl in brief the science of computers dealing with language the science of computers communicating with human language communicating with you is computational linguistics the main task of computational linguistics is just the construction of computer programs to process words and texts in natural language we have some more ideas about the term cl computational linguistics includes the disciplines dealing with models methods technologies systems and applications concerning the automatic processing of a language both spoken and written and in fact computational linguistics cl applies computer science to analyze and comprehend written and spoken language so these are some of the basic ideas what we mean by computational linguistics we continue our discussion goals of computational linguistics what does it want to attain and achieve let's talk about to enhance communication computational linguistics helps us enhance communication and you can see how in modern time through technology the communication is not only widened but improved enhanced in a much better way we have the next point to revolutionize language technology and in modern time you know revolution of language technology we have so many ways and means through which language can be communicated to elevate human computer interaction now the level of human computer interaction has elevated to another level highest level we have now robots talking to the humans because humans now they are too busy they don't have time so there are people spending more time with technology or communicating with technology in a human way we have to translate text from one language to another of course computational linguistics in fact it has started in the very beginning with the intention of translating text from one language to another to generate information related to a specific topic anything you want you just type in the search box and you get the specific information about the thing you want to know and to create grammatical and semantic frameworks for characterizing languages so computational linguistics also shapes the way computer understand the language the grammatical structure and the semantic framework through which communication between human and computer can be made more accessible more friendly and more comprehensible that is the idea we continue our discussion why is computational linguistics important is it really important of course it's very important particularly in modern time computational linguistics cl is important because today humans are using technology to develop tools for completing tasks more efficiently without any error in a much better way in a faster manner we continue with our discussion computational linguistics translates languages such as chinese to english using computers of course of course we just talked about this point it supports customer service such as when you try to refund a product with a chatbot or find information quickly with the help of siri 
on iPhones. So most of the multinational companies, they have customer service and it is the it is with the help of computational linguistics, the chatbot interacts with you, tries to understand your problems, address your problems and then gives you solutions at the end. We have some more ideas about we continuing our discussion. Major branches of computational linguistics. And what are they? The first one is machine translation. What does it mean? What does it do? This is the process of using AI, artificial intelligence, to translate one human language to another, such as from Chinese to English. And the example we can have, Google Translate is a good example. Not only Google Translate, there are a number of applications, softwares, which can help us translate from one language to another. All those applications can be included under the category of machine translation. We have another chatbots. What do they do? These software or computer programs simulate human conversation or chatter through text or voice interactions. And what are the examples? Many companies such as Amazon and Verizon have live chat available alongside phone and email options. We have another one. Knowledge extraction, how to extract knowledge, creating knowledge from unstructured and structured text sources. And an example is Wikipedia, which is the product of random editors and can be used to train an open information extractor's precision and recall. At any time, when you want any type of information, you just type in the search box and Wikipedia will provide you the information. That is what we call you extract information. So knowledge extraction, not only Wikipedia, Google search can also be one of the examples of extracting knowledge or information. We continue. Natural language interface. What is that? These types of tools allow humans to interact with our devices operating systems using spoken words. We speak to Apple devices, Siri, we speak to what you call Amazon devices, Alexa, and they are ready for you to answer and at your call and at your service. Examples include Siri and Alexa. Not only Siri and Alexa, we have also Google Assistant and I think Microsoft also has this kind of facility. Then we have sentiment analysis. What is this? This is a type of natural language processing, NLP, that identifies emotional tone in text or a spoken language. And what is the example? Grammarly, an example of sentiment analysis. Grammarly is an application when you write something, uh, they can improve your tone, your style, your emotions. Overall, your way of writing and expression is improved up to the professional level. So you can see how computational linguistics is going to be one of the most important branches in modern time. And I think future belongs to it. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you and goodbye.